Welcome to the sixth video in the series Excel for Stock Market, where we publish 30 different Excel templates and explain them in 30 videos in 30 days. And all these templates are available to download from inzara.com and we will provide the URL on the screen as well as in the video description below. We use a feature called Stocks Data Type in Microsoft Excel, and this is available for free in the Excel for the web product, as well as the any of the Microsoft 365 subscription plans. So if you already don't have that, I will provide links to, the, to them in the video description so you can check them out. In this video, we're going to see the stock US stock market tracker Excel template. And I will, you know, show how the template works from a user perspective. And then for the second half of the video, I will then go over uh, at a high level how the template is developed. I will not be able to go into each of the formulas and explain in this video because otherwise the video will become pretty long. Um, however, I'm happy to address any questions you may have if you download this template uh, for free from inzara.com and if you look at the formulas and if you have questions please post them in the comments and i'll happy i'll be happy to respond also if you think that a detailed video would be helpful please express your interest in the comments below uh, the more people ask for it if that's what uh, the subscribers need or require or want then i'm happy to work on that video for the future now, before we get started, uh, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please do. And if you think the content is good and if you think that it'll benefit somebody, please share. Now, let's get started. The first part of the video, we're going to talk about the how the template uh, is used. So this is a US stock market. So you can see at the top, there are three different indices, the Dow 30, S&P 500 and the Nasdaq 100. You can see the prices um, there, the points there, as well as the increase and then the percentage change. So right now, everything looks increased because on the 22nd of March, which is what it says, um, they increased. But right now, today is 23rd, I'm gonna go ahead and hit refresh all. This is how you refresh your data when you download the template. Just hit refresh all. You will see that now it's going ahead and updating. Uh, and now as of 3.33 on 23rd March, a lot of reds here. Um, and then I think, I don't remember how many decliners we had previously, but right now out of the 529 stocks that are being tracked in this template, 128 have gained and 401 have declined. And all the three indices are down. Uh, and then we have the top gainers. So we have these top gainers who have increased um, the highest by the percentage change, 4.07% as a change, uh, which is the highest. Uh, and then the negative would be negative 9.06 is the biggest decline. And then we have the top active stocks. So Apple, uh, it is 95 million is the volume and that's the highest. Uh, this is sorted by the volume. Uh, F is next, G third and so on. You can also see whether those whether the price went or you know increased or decreased and you see a lot of reds here which indicate they declined. Now, the, that is pretty much what the template does in this page, which is the dashboard. But if you want to see more of the top gainers and top decliners and top actives, you can click on the view more to go into the gainers or you can just click on the tab. Um, this shows you the top 20 gainers and with a lot more information about those stocks. The volume, you can see the name of the ticker, I didn't know what WEC actually was, WEC Energy Group Incorporated, um, and then the price increased. Um, and you see the yellow um, arrows, and that is controlled by a, um, that is controlled by the conditional formatting rules, where we have set it up in such a way that, you know, if it is greater than 5%, then make it green arrow going up. And then if it's uh, between the less than 5%, but greater than or equal to zero, then show them up to be yellow. And that's why you see all these because we don't have anything gaining more than 5% today. But if you want to change this to from five to 2%, then we can now change this to zero two and hit okay, apply. And now you see anything greater than 2% will be green arrow pointing upward. So you can change it according to your requirements. We see the market cap, PE, 52 week, low, high, and where we are in the low, high range. 
Um, so all of that is visible. The similar information is available for decliners, the top decliners, and also the most active stocks. So 20 of each is available um, in these tabs and it's very easy to expand if you need more. Um, in terms of other functionality within the template, um, I do wanna highlight that we have 529 stack, stocks tracked in this template. Uh, we can add more uh, if you have other stocks. I will talk a little bit about how you can do that. But right now, by default, when you download this template, 529 most common stocks in the US stock market are added here. Um, if you if you have a need for others, um, if you have any suggestions, please post them in the comments below. You, you can see that the time is 3.33 p.m. Pacific because I'm offsetting it by seven hours. And in your case, your offset could be different. So please enter the offset time to, to make sure that this time reflects your uh, time zone. So that is all um, that this template from a user perspective is doing. It's showing the top gainers, decliners, and actives. It shows the three indices and whether it increased or decreased and how much percent and how many stocks gained, how many stocks declined. So that is that is the purpose of this dashboard. Now let's go into the second part of the video where I can tell you how the template actually is developed. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the data tab, unhide. This is where we have the 529 stocks. So if I go all the way down, we go, you know, 529 stocks we have entered. And for the change, um, the change percent, and, you know, I have the price information, and I'm then calculating whether it gained or declined, what is the order, which is the highest gainer, highest decliner, all that kind of stuff. So I'm calculating that information in this table. If you need more stocks to be tracked, all you have to do is to come in here and type another stock uh, that may not be here. Um, I can't think of any specific example, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say, um, I'm gonna type in another stock here, which is not in the US stock market, but this is, let's say, for example, the Bombay Stock Exchange, but I can now add it and now that becomes part of the tracking. So if I go back here, now it'll say 530 stocks tracked. So that's how you can add a stock. I know this is not a great example because this is a different exchange, but hopefully this explains how you can add new stocks uh, into this table, and then you can hide this table, you hide this sheet. You don't need to see it anymore. So you can then go ahead and hide. That's it. So that's how easy it is to add a new stock. So now that that table is where we are pulling the stock data, but how is it all of this getting populated? Um, I've, I've, I have a bunch of formulas, which brings in, for example, I'll use this example and illustrate. I first, what I do is I have to find out the row number which belongs to the top gainer. So I go and find the, the number 62. This row number represents the row number in the data sheet. So if I go to control G A 62. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in. So you see that the WEC is the 62nd row in this table. Okay, I know that it says 65. And that's because we have three rows at the beginning. So these three rows are there. So 62nd row in the table represents WEC, and then I can pull in all the information about WEC. Same thing, second most gainer is row number 41, then I can pull in all the information. So this row number is the key, and since the user doesn't have to necessarily see it, we can hide it. Um, so that's it. So similarly, we can do the top decliners and the top actives. So that's the basic uh, crux of how the development um, works and then into when we come to the dashboard itself um, i have a column a here we can pull in number one two three four you know all the way to ten and now i can say hey bring me the um, from the gainers table bring me the first row from the decliners table bring me the first row from the actives table bring me the first row so again let me recap we bring in first the raw data in the data tab, 
and then we create the these three sheets which pulls in the top 20 of each category and then in the dashboard we just need the 10 so we use the already obtained 20 and then we then bring in the top 10 and then this is just a link to view more into these sheets so that's how the template was developed again i went relatively quickly because i'm trying i mean we're trying to do 30 videos in 30 days and um, you know we are trying to keep the video length manageable but if there is a lot of interest from you all in the comment section saying you would really like to see a step-by-step -step, um, tutorial of this uh, please post them in the comments and um, that'll tell us what type of content and the video are actually helpful so we can provide that to you thank you very much for taking the time and watching we'll continue with uh, this series tomorrow with a brand new video brand new template and um, i can't wait for that if you like the content please again subscribe to the channel and share the video with your friends thank you very much for watching